They wanted to take the human resource from the African continent, which was us, the most valuable resource on the African continent, and they had some plans to build their own civilizations and use the wealth of our knowledge and understanding to do it. So they would strip us from our families and strip us naked and take us to these dungeons where they would pack us in like sardines in the dungeons first, starve us half to death so we would become weak and we could barely fight. And then they would force us to get up and they would put us on the water on these prisons on the ocean called slave ships. The first one was called the Good Ship Jesus, captained by Sir John Hawkins. First slave ship they put our ancestors on. And they would always have a white Catholic priest standing there and said, God has ordained now that you are to be the slave of the white race for eternity. Jesus Christ is your new God. And you will love him and you will obey him. And they said, remember this and don't forget it because if you do, you could die. You no longer have a history. You no longer have a culture. You no longer have an identity. You didn't have a mother. You don't have a language. You are, always will be a nigger. That's your new identity. You're going to call yourself that. You're going to call your children that. You're going to answer to that. You're going to bow to that. That is who you are, who you will be. You will not have an identity because you have no self-respect. You are a nigger. You will repeat that. You will answer to it. You will carry that for eternity. That's all you'll ever be is a servant to white interests and your new God, Jesus Christ. And I, as a white, am a representative of your new God. Do you know your new name? And so many of our ancestors didn't understand, but they was resisting that because they said, no, I got a language. I have a history. I have pride. No, you're not going to strip my identity from me. They might not have known why they were trying to steal the identity, but some just refused to die. And so we would struggle and fight. We would continue to use our language when they weren't looking. We would continue to remember our customs. Some of our ancestors put the watermelon seeds in their mouth when they were leaving because they said, I want to have something that reminds me of home when I leave. I'm an African. I'm a God. I'm a Shanti. I know who I am. They won't take me from me. So I'm going to remember however I can. The sisters will remember the songs they sang when we were in Africa. And during the course of this 250 year period, they killed so many of our ancestors. I mean, imagine they make this, just throw our ancestors overboard. They kill so many millions of our ancestors that the Atlantic shark stopped hunting for food in the ocean. And they started traveling on a new migration pattern that they follow to this very day because they could follow the slave ships and they knew that there would be fresh meat for them to eat. They stopped hunting in the ocean, the sharks. That's right. Because our ancestors became their most enjoyed meal. Some of our people said, you will not take my identity. In fact, it became such a revolutionary process. Some of our people said, I'd rather jump over and die. Take my babies with me. Sometimes all groups would just jump over and say, I'd rather die than lose my identity and have no respect and be a slave and a servant to you. And so they said, no, I'm going to beat this out of you. Because we were rebellious, we didn't want it. They said, what's your name? And that black man would say, my name, I'm going to shot thee. He said, you are nigga. And they would take that whip. And they would rip through the back of the brother. He said, I'm God. I'm Wallace. You'll never change me. And many of our ancestors died fighting. Never giving up their identity. Never accepting anything less than being proud, productive African people. The beginning of civilization but see they would rip through the backs of our ancestors saying I will make you submit to a new identity because unless I strip your self respect from you and you can answer to a new identity I can't do what I intend to do so I'm going to break you some of us didn't break a lot of us broke this was serious I know it's hard to imagine but some brothers were so revolutionary they said man I will starve myself I will kill myself before I let you take my identity and make me something you want me to be. So the whites would say, no, you got to eat, boy, because I got something for you on the other side. So they would take a hammer and bang the teeth out of our ancestors and shove a muzzle in their mouth and shove slop down the throat. This is what I had. This is how we got here. This is what happened. Speak on it. It wasn't no easy way to get here. Speak on it. 